Routine. Slack the main line. Okay? So, I'd like you to, with two hands, I'd like you to blow stop. Pull as hard as you can. It's gonna blow. You wanna do it again? She's doing it again. She wanted you to know you gotta stop. Okay, now we can all go home. Show's over. She said stop. Okay, Dan, I keep gonna hop down. Good job. Give her a hand, please. She's now a triple threat logger. And Danica, your job now is you have to watch those choker men. Make sure they go <laughs> over and under. There's a choker on one end. You don't grab them in the middle because then you've got a real mess. the landing because the logs land there and now Tony's undoing the chokers now if the logs are sitting crossways and there's a possibility that they might roll then they might you might ask the uh, donkey puncher to saddle them because log rolls crushes your foot or your leg there are several injuries that these fellows have had in their lifetime. There's a broken back and a crushed leg out there at least. Cable and a thin cable. The main line is for pulling in the heavy load. The thin one is for pulling the empty rigging back out there. It's like a clothesline, really. If you look out at the edge of the clearing, there's two stumps that have blocks on. That's the other end of the clothesline. That's a possible fire source in the summer. That's why they wouldn't operate. There were several reasons they wouldn't operate these in the summer. Fire hazard rating. These things would, if they were really making a lot of steam, they'd spit out a lot, a lot of cinders. And also you get friction on the blocks because when we're operating in dry weather, we'll put two water cans out there. And also we run sprinklers out there. We hose the place down before the public comes because we're quite conscious of fire hazard rating. Goes up, the helicopters come down. Three toots bring the logs in.